Hello and welcome by the Arcade Saga. So I thought it would be nice to do uh, on occasion a update on a particular genre of Arcades. Uh, so that's what I'm planning. So we will have a talk about the Cattleyas, the Vendas, uh, Phenoliopsis, but also the Miltonias, Miltoniopsis. And I just basically want to introduce uh, my Arcades to you because I think it's nice to have a general idea what I'm growing. And of course, overall, I do my uh, updates uh, bloom buds and such and etc so you have a general idea but i thought it would be nice to just pi uh, t uh, pick out uh, one of the uh, generous family <laughs> and uh, have a look at them so for today of course as you saw in the title i would uh, like to introduce my talumnia arcades uh, to you guys and before i do that i would like to say that i did grew them not that long ago, uh, ago uh, on a shelf here that's now gone because I had uh, to make some room for my Encyclia Africanas. Uh, well, at least one is there, the one is on the ground. But anyhow, but also my Tolomnias didn't like it that they did get too much light. So what happened, you already guessed it, is that they turned to uh, get too much purple on the leaf, uh, leaves. And, and we had quite a lot. It was even worse. Um, but since I put them back, because the year before that I had them over here in this uh, area, um, and there they were beautiful green colors, uh, mostly like this one, beautiful green colors. So I did put them back, and you already can see the purple. There is still a bit there, but you can see the new leaves on this one, for example, is beautiful green. And that's what we want, of course, and this one next to it as well. They're doing so much better. I gave them uh, basically too much stress. Too much light is also stress. So even this one, this is my almost saddest Tolumnia. <laughs> Overall, they do well, but I have one there. I will do a close up. That one is not doing so well. And this one uh, wasn't doing either, but you can see there we have a start of a new growth. I hope it's in frame there. And it's also in the back starting to green up beautifully. Apologizing, a little bit distracted because the, someone uh, was at the door. But uh, basically what I was talking about is that they uh, obviously do way better, uh, starting to green up, and I will pull it out a little bit better with my, uh, well, not put it uh, out, but uh, here above my finger, uh, there is that new growth. And I think I was talking about the ones behind it. Uh, those are starting to green up. And let me have a look at this one, as you can see, this one, is dehydrating and or dehydrated and this is the newest growth it's not doing well but still we have some live roots going in so this one I uh, spray uh, lightly on the top of the pot every day to get some moisture in there so yeah this one is this is a bit greener it's not that dark purple anymore but I'm not sure this one wasn't good to start with to be honest but still, I should be able to manage to, uh, to grow it better than this. So this is uh, my responsibility and I really take it serious and I really try my best. But this one might not make it. We don't know. But the rest of them, I think, doing incredibly well. Again, I'm not, not, yeah, I think they do incredibly well, to be honest. Because we have beautiful roots and these been through some stress so if they uh, take off so beautifully uh fairly short after that stress and this one is making new growth there and there we can say that they are doing wonderfully well you can see a lot of roots going around that pot as with this one these are my two oldest ones and then we have this one this one was a fairly young plant very small but it's making quite some new growths and also the roots are going inside the outer pots basically the terracotta pot and that's how i grew grow these guys the talumnias i have them still in inorganic media we have some different shapes of uh, leca and uh, uh, a little bit of leca but most of it is uh, pumice and i know that might shock you <laughs> as you know if you know me a little bit longer i, I love pumice and some I did, oops, I'm sorry, some of uh, them did have some petals, pebbles even on the top, but not all of them, just for me to see which one do better, but I don't see much difference, uh, to be honest. But yeah, I like uh, terracotta pots as well, but uh, of course I like to grow my orchids mostly in uh, self-watering pots, 
but I do find that the Tolumnia is not really uh, taking it so well, at least in my uh, um, greenhouse, in my uh, climate, that was the word. <laughs> so therefore I uh, stick with, uh, with this, with the Terracara. And I will demonstrate uh, you how I water them, because I have yeah, quite a lot of cans here, but sprayers I should say, and this is the sprayer. It's a little bit um, fertilized water, I think about 30 parts per million and the rest uh, is also 30 so I'm around 60 parts of dead seaweed so I just uh, spray them like this sometimes around there if it's very warm today it's quite warm here in the Netherlands so then they will give a little bit more water and just spray around as much as I can and I try to do this in the morning uh, because if I uh, spray the orchid itself and some water will go in uh, those leaves uh, it has enough time to evaporate. So that's uh, basically what I do. And I try to uh, moisten the media around it, as you can see, and also inside of those nest, uh, net baskets. And sometimes the pots as well, terracotta pots. Like I said, it's, it's uh, fairly warm today. So that's a little bit of an uh, indication. And then, whoops, I need to go this way. <laughs> My psychops is a little bit in the way. But I saw this beautiful root there coming from that net pot and going inside of the outer pot, the terracotta, terracotta pot with, um, with the pumice inside. So these are uh, my Tolumnias and I didn't mention the name, so let's do that now if I know the names. Tolumnia, Tolumnia Bloody Red is the one that is hmm, hanging in there. I have a Jarek uh, Hot Pink, as you can see, there's this one. And then I have to go around this beauty, the Psychopsis, <laughs> standing in front of them. Then we have Tulumnia Yairak Flyer Ghouls. I hope I pronounced it right. Then I have a Maka Spots. Then I have a Tulumnia Hybrid. I will come back to that one. <laughs> and the last one is, uh, this is actually a cross, it's a Selenia. Sel Sel Selenia Midas. And this is a beautiful yellow red one. So yeah, I'm coming back to the Tolumnia hybrid. I did um, a few weeks back, I did a um, update on this one and I was basically asking for uh, yeah, some suggestions on, uh, on the name if you recognize this. And I did get uh, two responses on uh, a possible uh, IDs for this one. First one is from Anavu Gia. I hope I pronounced your name uh, name right. And it's Anna, Anna Wu because um, yeah, you always uh, well basically you're commenting uh, quite uh, quite often on my uh, on my videos, which I really appreciate. So thank you so much, and I think you are always very kind and helpful. And also in this case, you uh, thought this one could be the uh, Tolumnia Tequila Sunrise of Tequila Sunrise. So, and I did look it up, and I must admit, uh, from the start, I was thinking, yeah, this, this could be the one. Um, but then we did a, get a comment on the same comment of yours, a response, basically, from Matt Samas. I hope you, I pronounced your name right. And by the way, Matt, this is probably your first comment on my uh, video, so thank you so much. Uh, I really hope uh, you enjoy the videos as well. And thank you for your suggestion, because you said it may be also the Tolumnia uh, Genting Orange. So I looked them both up, and I see where you're getting at, uh, Matt, that it is indeed has also some yellow in there. But the ones that I do find on Google, the images, um, I think they have a bit more yellow in it. And then if I go back to the Tequila Sunrise, that has this ha almost halo effect on the uh, outer uh, edge of this, yeah, is it the lip? I believe it's the lip of the bloom. So I think that in this case, I would go for the Tequila Sunrise because it's more evenly darker red with some yellow in there. But once again, I really do get why you uh, suggested the Genting Orange as well. Anyhow, 
at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. So let me explain quickly why I ask uh, for names. Well, first of all, it's very handy if people ask uh, about this orchid and, and they want to know the name because they then can buy it or at least have a search for it. So that's the first. And the second one is that I like to give my orchids a name, a proper name, because then it's easier for me to uh, have those names in, in, in uh, my notes. I keep notes of all my orchids. And yeah, to give them a number or a just a Tolumnia hybrid, hmm, it's not really doing it for me, to be honest. I, I think they deserve a proper name. So therefore, I'm always very um, glad that people decide to help. So this one I will change in the, the tequila uh, sunset. Or somebody um, have another suggestion that I didn't know of. So if you think, well, maybe it may, might be this one, please let me know. But I think we are... Uh, are very very close with the tequila sunset so once again thank you both for uh, helping me out here really appreciate it so yeah these are the talamnias uh, that i have and i probably will add one to this collection because i still have one <laughs> terracotta pot i don't need much more i like the talamnias i really like the look of it how they are hanging here on this side of the greenhouse next to the door of the uh, orchid room and they, I think they are beautiful displayed here. And as we can see as well, it's, like I said, they are starting uh, to getting uh, way better again. So yeah, I think this is a nice introduction. And uh, please let me know if you like this type of video. So we uh, can uh, have another look at another uh, genera uh, very soon on this channel. So if you like it, please give it a thumbs up. And of course, if you didn't already, please subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate it. And once again, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. For now, once again, thank you for watching. And I really hope to see you at one of my next uh, videos. Bye-bye.